Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and this is going to be a quick video. This is a, how I make a tapered pan, or if you have a, a bent shaft, this is a simple way to uh, do it. You don't have to have a lathe. Um, it's not always going to work for every bent shaft, but it will work for a lot of the bent shafts. Um, and so, um, without further ado, let me just show you how. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification button to see more great videos from me. And may God bless each and every one of you. Okay, so, um, I bought a bunch of suspension springs off of Sally, um, Sorry, off of Etsy, a uh, subscriber over in England. And I bought a hundred for like $50. Except for these, I've already got the pins in them. And so they will not work for this particular clock. You need one similar to this that has a pin for the pendulum and then a hole. That way you could stick it in this suspension spring shaft. But then you have to have a tapered pen to put in there. Well, my tapered pens don't fit. So I snipped off a piece of wire. I got it in my drill. I bent it just to show you how to straighten them out or how I straighten them out put in the drill put the wire onto a, a block and just keep tapping It is straighter than what it was. Now I do this for um, bent gears also. I've successfully straightened some bent gears using this manner. Put in it in your drill turning your drill on slowly and just tap and um, putting the gear I've got this metal block here you, you could use a piece of 2 by 4 and just keep tapping straight down until it's straight but now I need to make this pen tapered so uh, I have my Dremel I have a piece of uh, stone on it. Lifting it up and down at an angle until it becomes tapered. It's not small enough yet, so continue in the process. A brass pen would be better, I guess than the steel pen, but I don't know how many brass pens that are big enough. So that's why I'm using this piece of wire. And there, as you can see, the piece of wire fits through 
that post. So now I'm going to take it out of my chuck. Now this chuck here, and I don't remember where I got it. This chuck, the drill will only close so far. If I can turn it around the other way. As you can see, there's a hole there. But this closes all the way. If I turn it the right way. As you can see, there's not a hole there. So if you can get your hands on a chuck like this, it's perfect for doing certain things.